Let me tell you my story. When I came into faith many, many years ago and pulled Christ into my heart, um, what I knew about the Lord was that um, He had said that He'd never leave me, nor would He ever forsake me. But what He never said, nor um, does it say in Scripture that anybody else will. And so sometimes when we walk into this beautiful thing called faith and belief in Jesus, we don't fully understand that God is not promising us no suffering. Um, he's promising us that He'll sit with us in the midst of it. And that our peace in Him is that He's with us in the midst of everything that we face and all the trials that um, we endure or we encounter in our life. And um, even to compare our lives with somebody else's life and to say, you know, why do we go through this but other people don't go through that? It's almost pointless because your life is your own journey. My story is my story. And my story wouldn't have the power that it has if it wasn't my story. And so I, um, I realized that when I came into Jesus and I realized that He'd already bore all the costs for me, that I didn't have to pay for anything, what I obtained in the midst of Him was peace that even while I walked through suffering that didn't have even sometimes the ability to form words in it, that He would meet me in the midst of it. Even recently, um, in the last month, my family suffered another really devastating loss in my sister, um, who was kind of our, um, the oldest in the family, and. Um, just one of the most adventurous characters um, and really paved the way for me in music. And again, it was that place where you, you can find yourself in the shock of it. You can find yourself in, the, um, in almost the surreal reality of, is this really happening? Is, this, is God even allowing this to happen? And, and then you, I just go back to, to, the, to the reality that he didn't promise me that I wouldn't experience it. He promised me that He would be with me in the middle of it. And that life has a starting point and life has an ending point. And we have to deal with both of those things as they come. And the fact that we have Jesus in the middle of it to walk us through it and to sit with us in our sorrow, to me is probably one of the most profound things in this journey that I've ever um, experienced with the Lord. If I, if you were to say, well, um, you know, I don't know if God's real there or God's real there, I haven't seen God real. I can tell you that where I've seen the Lord the most be the most real and um, the best shepherd and the best savior um, and the best at all of the characteristics that he has is sitting with me in the middle of my suffering when there were no words and there sometimes were no prayers that I could pray that would take away that grief, but to know that His presence was right there, coming so close and just not willing to leave until I was whole enough to move on. Um, and so I, I think that's shaped a lot of my melodies. It's shaped a lot of my stories. It's, it's shaped a lot of who I am and how I trust the Lord because He didn't tell me that I wouldn't suffer it, but He did promise me that He'd sit with me in the middle of it and that He'd never leave me and He'd never forsake me. And that is a promise that He's always kept. <laughs> 